more NPCs indeed. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Happy Monday. It is again. Yay. I'm excited. New week. Well, short week in a way. For me, at least. I got uh, a couple of days off from Friday. More info on that later. Shorty greetings to Stinson. Asikinos Chohan in the house parties. Hello, Joachim. Good. Riper Sniper, Marcel, Nesty, Demonierdo, Bernard, Ermham's here, Charlie, Georgie is Megalier, Peter Amlag, Upscurus, Alcum Shaver, TW, Ellie, Freak Factor, Elvira, Cracker, The Lurker, Chris, at AJ, to Lion, greetings to Ambiomia, and uh, hello, Chethros, greetings to Liam Disco and William Follett. Yeah, it is Monday again, don't tell, right? Jeez. Uh, well, we, we will just, you know, I look fresh today, do I? Maybe I should shave and I look less fresh or something. Uh, Peter Hamlock has a question. If someone has 40,000 LP, how long would Erst need to wiggle this back if uh, they would cash them all in? Here's the thing. You can only hit the wiggle button once per stream. There's a safety precaution or safety. Safety something. There's safety <laughs> to it. Okay, my brain is not yet caught up. Actually, uh, I have a question, chat, for those who have done this sort of content before. NPC, uh, miner slash holer hunt. I just saw something which uh, made me wonder if I should actually pull these and then kill the guy that has a special stat. I will elaborate in a second. Um, there are 50 here now, wait. <laughs> 50 people right Carson uh, Carson thanks a lot for the support um, again much appreciated so watch this one of these guys has a different usage of their power grid slash um, what is it uh, th th this guy here this guy has a different usage of their power grid it's not it's like is he missing a module or, the, or does he have a different one? This is very weird. So I feel like I want to kill this guy and see if, if it drops something special or I don't know if it is unique in a way. I'm going to tag this guy and we will pull this group. So uh, wait, you, you haven't seen what I just did, right? Uh, let's go there again. So the PG here of this guy is 296 or 301 out of 313. And if you scan the other guys, uh, you will see they, they have a full sort of fit, like every time I scan. But this guy here, the one I tagged with zero, has a slightly sort of different thing going on. Uh, so yeah, it is it is the capacitor, but, but why does that capacitor of this NPC move, but but not of, of, of the other guys? The other guys are completely, well, actually... Well, that's three twelve ninety nine. The other guys don't move. That guy moves. W why is that? And consistently, right? It's that guy where the capacitor moves. I want to see what this is. Something is off with this. Oh, we, we gotta, you know, go uh, pull and and run. One of my Hecates is actually under threat. Uh, how about we? Did I turn on the micro drive? Uh, wait, I did not. Okay, I probably should at this point. Um, okay, they s need to kill that angel thug. Let's kill that angel thug. Okay, bye. That one as well. These guys are messing with me. Uh, let's actually go here. Uh, he has bad ping. The guy has a bad ping. Maybe a module indication. It, it is an indication of something, right? I, I reckon. I hope. Well, let's pull and see what happens. Uh, response fleet is is arriving and uh, funny little angel thug no longer wants to play with me. Okay, so that's fine. Wait, 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 what just happened? Oh no, that's the angel guys. I thought the, the other guys were interfering. Okay, sorry, I'm completely confused. I did tag the thing, they warped off. Let's go find them again. Uh, and then we'll see if there's any difference with this guy. How far am I from the LHC? Pff, I don't know, maybe 100 kilometers, Bernard? They, they want to generate black holes starting from today? Okay, that sounds good. I'll let them have it. 
more, we need more black holes in this uh, in this world, I guess. The Lost Patrol greetings. Okay, so here we go. You guys go over there. I'm gonna. S oh, the store just arrived. I realize. Nice. I pulled them at the right time. We got a um, a hauler as well. Nice. All right. Maybe that's how you trigger a hauler by tagging and shooting the guy with the capacitor wiggle. I don't know. You're not sorry. Oh, talking about wiggles, there's one left. Wait, my voice gets a bit garbled during the stream. Oh, if my voice gets garbled. Yeah, absolutely. Then it's the wormholes. 100%. Yeah, there's, there's in fact a, a bestower. Let's go. I'm going to kill that one first uh, with this guy. And oh, wait, I don't see tags, do I? A tag. Oh, there, Zero. Found it. Let's go. I'm going to kill Zero just to see what the hell's going on with that guy. And we are on top of the bestower. Did bump it a little bit, I guess. Let's kill it. And I want to see what's the Zero tag doing. Hello, Magic. Greetings. So this guy's capacitor was wobbly. Let's see if I can actually see this. Ah, oh, weird. Well, he is not mining now, right? So I guess the capacitor shouldn't change. Okay. The store dead. That was quick. Well, let's see. First box of the day. Am I going to be lucky? No. We got a procure skin. Uh, 7 mil. That's not, not really amazing. Okay, so let's kill that guy here. Let's see what happens. This retriever had a wobbly capacitor. Hello, Ribbit. It probably doesn't mean a thing, but we got to check. It's an anomaly, right? Anomalies are... Nah, nothing. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to... Ah, salvaging is probably not going to do the trick, trick, right? We'll not have any magical special salvage. What is my upwell drone box tally so far? Up still at 15 bernard i haven't done more than that wait can i not oh there let's have a quick salvage and then move on downtime has not been yet it will be in an hour and 20 minutes okay that was just tech one salvage nothing special ah uh, i guess a moving capacitor indicator doesn't really indicate anything other than that well so be it next system good morning crime fighter do I use salvage implants no not yet but I have two salvage tackle thingies now which make it much faster I have way less failed cycles they still happen quite what's the word quite uh quite often but not not all the time <laughs> i'm much faster with the salvage tackle so that was a good upgrade of my little setup here okay everybody jumped let's go oh, no got to reload uh yesterday i unfortunately left some probes behind so i only have one flight raging calculator npc holders are entities you can find all over New Eden, and uh, they basically show up when NPC miners have a full cargo in the belt and they want to pick up their loot. And I'm trying to hunt them to get strong boxes and loot like, well, I can't show it right now. I'll show it in a moment. Uh, do we have anything in the belt here? Probably. This is an Eden com system. It's not it. It's cluttered with six that are not not relevant, but we have a couple of belts here, so pretty sure we have a group of miners there. Oh, a mammoth is out as well. All right, we're going to totally get that one. That's the NPC hauler I was talking about. Let's try to catch the mammoth. 
Is it dangerous? Oh yeah, it is. There is a response fleet of diamond rats, and uh, if you don't play it right, you will die to these. So what I'm doing is, uh, I have a dedicated character doing the pulling, this guy here on screen right now. It's just shooting the mammoth, the mammoth and their, the mammoth and friends, so to speak. Uh, in this case, the skiffs, I believe, they will warp off to a uh, safe spot while the response fleet is going to show up here. I can already see them on D scan. We got frigates this time and they will chase this little puller here because it did aggress the hauler, right? Uh, my other two guys, they are in the wrong place, apparently. Nice. <laughs> Let's warp them to the FC so I can warp them to wherever the mammoth just went. Let's find out. Now I'm getting shot by the response fleet. As long as I stay here though, the response fleet will not go to the safe spot of Mammoth and the miners. Just have to find them again. Uh, they are over there apparently. And then I will send off my two Hecates to murder uh, everything actually. Mammoth and Skiffs because Skiffs have intact armor plates as well. It does not cause suspect or criminal status. Yep. Greetings Olaf, how's it going? All right, here we go. Now I just sent off my two DPS boats to the location. It's Monday. Let's leave it at one. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, that's how it works, right, Olaf? Greetings, Evil Bob. Silio, Senias. Good morning. Uh, the fits uh, would be multiple fits. I haven't shared it yet it's also kind of in the flow still but uh i should talk to lion here we need to be able to share multiple fits okay so kill the mammoth kill the skiff with the other guy that's the plan okay mammoth is down let's hope it had a strong box it did not Rude. Okay, we'll, we'll go kill the skiffs then. Let's have it. Still picking on haulers. Yeah, go, go. Yeah, I'm somehow addicted to this. I don't know why, but it's happening. So deal with it. <laughs> okay, that one is dying. That one's dying too. So I have two DPSers working on the skiffs. They have a lot of HP, but they can drop intact armor plates. In fact, I have like 116 mil of salvage here and another 108 million of salvage in the other vessel. So it's quite okay. What do you get with this? Yeah, addicted to more. It's not people. Solstice is here again. So Tar, greetings. How's it going? I, I caught the NPC holer hunter bug. I, I believe mainly because of the fact that I switched to three accounts. It is so much more is per hour if you can yeah have more clients shooting things and salvaging things at the same time so i'll continue this there we go salvage is on didn't drop anything all good next oh wait that's the one that's about to die next one is this is it possible to hunt haulers with only one character it is you just need to do a little bit of kiting at the uh, safe spot. All right, here we are done with the salvage. Let's go kill the next skiff. Yes, your Hecate can stay green. Um, here, let's demo it. Okay, that one's finished as well. Build a response fleet abandoned pursuit when you first warp away. Or do they chase? So if I were to warp this guy off grid now, the response fleet would go to the safe spot where I'm currently shooting up the, the NPC haulers uh, or miners. So I, I cannot leave grid. 
if I killed every vessel at the safe spot, then I can warp off and the response fleet will no longer go there because there's nothing to defend. Add a Noctis? I mean, I could move to the next target faster. I was actually trying to build a Talos yesterday. I would get like 30% more DPS out of it, but the rest is going to be a bit more annoying, so I'm not really sure the Talos is, is an upgrade. It, it would probably be straight up the, the Marauder you want to use here. To get your two and a half thousand dps and you know you can then tractor beam and salvage at the same time that will work how fast is the response fleet how fast do they move uh you need to have 2500 meters a second to get away if you're slower than that you might get wrecked so uh i, I think the fastest is 2200 something like this yeah they really well the frigates are really fast indeed Oh, we got an Elara. 22 mil, nice. The guy had an item. Glorious. Could have been an Aeolt for 900 mil. But this time, just an Elara. Not gonna complain though. Um, Are we done? That one over there. I spent more time moving around than shooting, absolutely, so a long range fit would probably help. I think I was using the golem here last time because I could fit um, EM ammo, which is basically the resistance hole. Not basically, it is the resistance hole for uh, the shield tanked skiff here. So, But I don't have... Actually, I have two characters with marauder skills. Maybe I'm going to switch at some point. But I really like the agility of the Hecates. Heron to bait the response fleet and the golem to shoot the haulers. Yeah, pretty much, right? Although I'm using a, uh, how's it called? A buzzard here. Moving around between systems and belts, faster line warp, 30% more DPS and time saved. Or I you think that is better than 30% in DPS? Although the Marauder would not be 30%, the Marauder would be 100% more DPS. So I think there it it probably will work. Okay, we are done here. Everything's dead. So I can move on. Oh, let's do another D scan. Yeah, no more haulers showed up. Let's go to the next system then. Oh, we are heading for... Ultranor. Uh, the new tractor beams are in game, yes, and all Davidos. They're just a bit expensive, I guess. Greetings, Quadi. Hello, Gaspon. And maybe a tad rare, because, well, I believe the tractor beam BPCs drop quite easily. The MTU is, is pretty hard uh, to get your hands on. BPC, that is. All right, let's see what we have here.
Okay, whoa, we got a bunch of things. And, uh... Not sure. Maybe there is a hauler involved. Let's go check out this... This belt. I think they're here. There's one over, a group over there, and maybe a group in the center. Let's have a look. Yeah, the BPCs are one run, right? Oh, wow, nothing? What happened? This is not an Eden Comp system. No, it is not. Or are they all in the center? Okay, we got a bunch of ventures. Let's go scan them. And what's in the middle here? Oh, why, why is this thing not repeating, actually? Huh. I'm not looping it, that's why. <laughs> Mining barge and... Oh, this too, okay. I'm confused. There are some... Oh, maybe there's a... A potion hole here. No. Bunch of mining barges. Out in the nowhere, or am I dumb? Oh, go, go. I'm gonna go check. Uh, anyways, we'll scan these now. When is the rogue drone event ending? I have no idea. I would expect this content to be available for maybe two more weeks. But I'm guessing tomorrow, says Roda. What makes you say that? On the 9th? Yeah, I know tomorrow's the 9th. That still doesn't explain why. Where? where where's that info? The 9th is when the Plex sales ends. <laughs> I don't know what the connection there is. CCP refused to answer slash ignored the question on their stream. All right. Yeah, I would guess one or two weeks more. But we'll see. Maybe it even escalates, as in something else happens. Oh, somebody else killed a holder here. I wonder if they did scan miners. Let's give it a try. It would be funny if they left behind an AOD. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Are the rogue drones behind the plague sails? I mean, we need to ask a lower guy, right? Yeah, it will be over when the upwell building finishes. And there's no timeline. We also don't have a progress bar. It says we are helping by turning these in, but I don't really think that's uh, that's the case. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Let's move on. morning of notice hope your monday is coming along well yeah elvira eve is is an illusion herrick's wondering if we even want to help whatever day you're doing there right up notice is bored at work i mean could be worse you could be stressed out Did I ever drive a Titan? No. Biggest thing I... Whoops, what happened here? Biggest thing I ever run was a... A carrier thingy. I'm not a capital pilot at all. Uh, which carrier did I run? Um, 
it was the Amar one. I forgot the name. Probably still have the skill, or maybe I, I did extract it. Yeah, no, a Mark Carrier, uh, the Archon, yeah. It was gifted to me, so I had to use it. I blew it up in low sec somewhere. Was it golden? No, it was shit fit. And it exploded fairly quickly, I... I believe. Okay, nothing here for me to snag. Go go! Don't ever see big war action on Twitch. Actually, uh, there was when was that? Like a week ago, a big event happening in Perimeter uprooting to upwell structures it was a i don't know how many hours it was maybe it was two weeks actually ago how many people were in local like five thousand quite a lot it took seven hours cheese yeah it took a while Okay, we got maybe a hauler. Let's go check that out. Oh no, wait, that's just that's probably these two. Yeah, ship. The skiffs and the venture. Uh, although I'm totally gonna get the skiffs. Wait, they're not in the same place. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we're gonna shoot them up anyway, so let's have it. Go check out what's going on over here. There belts? Yes. Oh, there's more skiffs. And ventures to scan. I think I'm just gonna scan these. And if they don't have anything, we'll move over to the other group, which is bigger. Hello, Fox and Egg. How's it going? Okay, they don't have anything here. Let's go. Busy system. Lots of miners here. I'll check only the ventures here the skiffs i'm gonna kill anyways Wasn't great for Notice. First, he missed a big fight at the Amazon. 
and then an amazing drake roam that killed two pro phoenixes among other things wow definitely missed that one then well just join a fart fleet next next weekend and you will you will catch up with the fun Lunch time for Chohan, enjoy. Okay, these guys don't have anything. Let's just kill this gifts then. attack NPC miners also I mean I'm just doing that right now because I want to get the skiffs the skiffs uh, intact armor plates yes you can all right let's find the skiffs where did they warp to Keep de scanning to see if there's any holer spawning. There's four different groups currently out. After downtime, we'll have some alpha segment with wormhole diving. Stay tuned. So many wormholes in high sec. I figured maybe we want to try get space rich that way in an accessible setup as well. Oh, reload, right? Greetings, come true. For hacking, yeah, Olaf. Hopefully some really juicy ghost sites with 7 billion or whatnot. Nah, I don't know. Probably not. And hello, Matt Damon. How was it going? The hunting is going well. No exciting drop, but I'm making isk, and I, I really like this treasure hunting mode here where you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it's good though. I had an Alara already dropped today. Let's see what happens later. Although, I say later in 50 minutes, we'll switch content. Uh, we are going there.
Okay, that one's worked on, and this guy is in range as well. He was like a box of chocolates, right? Usually you only get the box. What is my best drop from these? Uh, that would be 960 million AOD mining upgrade. But it has not happened lately. That's probably why they're so expensive. Yeah, if each time you open a box, it might have something in it. That's what I like about this treasure hunting. Cheers, Heimdall. Happy Monday, indeed. Snacking on two skiffs. <laughs> Cheers, Heimdall. Okay, everything is dead, therefore I can move to the next system. Let's go. Hello, Kilolic. Happy Monday. No intact armor plates this time on this vessel. Here we got some. preview that is crime fighter a third party app for eve which lets you create this little window so you see exactly what i see on my screen right now i have these little three windows in the bottom and the main view of the active client uh oh another bunch of skiffs look at that hello sticky llama how's it going we go they're all at the same belt raging calculator wondering if i like spaceship kings could i please name a few of my favorite ones i mean i've been playing eve mostly right so that's my favorite one i kind of sometimes like playing elite dangerous and uh, No Man's Sky. Apart from that, I'm still waiting for Star uh, Star Citizen to to get to a state where you don't lose progress anymore. Uh, once in a while, um, I believe Star Citizen is going to be pretty good. I mean, I I have an account since its inception, since the the hangar module was the first thing you could load into, and uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just waiting. All you wanted was a Freelancer 2.0, right? Olaf, maybe. There will be a Freelancer 2.0 mode in Star Citizen one day. Who knows? Yeah, when, when my little ones turn 18, we, we might have Star Citizen available. Although they, they recently, like a couple of weeks back, were talking about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and uh, talk about some release although they didn't say when or yeah with with what content but they're making progress we will just wait and see every six months i'm looking 
into the progress go go of star citizen i paid i don't know 25 bucks for the kickstarter back in the day and i have access ever since very good investment right there but yeah I, i'm mostly into <clears throat> multiplayer mmo sort of space games i don't like solo things anymore except for well uh, is, is uh, how's it called Ma is Ma mass effect is that a spaceship game no not really yeah the buzzard is on a rave party for sure yeah mass effect is a third person shooter but it, it's sci-fi and you, you sort of travel around in a spaceship so yeah it has that vibe i would say but i i'm saying spaceship game i don't need a dock fighting module or whatnot for me to have a good time in a spaceship game Gaspone very much still enjoys good storyline single player games as long as they are third person. Yeah, I, I did really dig the. Uh, what was it called? Something, something of Avium. I forgot the name of the game. It's in uh, Game Pass now, I believe. Have I played Homeworld? I, back in the day, yeah, I saw some footage of the new one. Uh, I didn't even bother downloading the demo. It, I don't know. It doesn't look. It doesn't appeal to me. The visuals in in 2024. I don't know. So nah. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Not really. No. Uh, the next MMO I'm kind of looking forward is somewhat space themed or well sci-fi ish. That would be the Dune Awakening, I believe it's called. No, what? how's it called? Yeah, Dune Awake Awakening, if I'm not mistaken. Survival MMO on uh, in a Dune setting. I think it's going to be pretty good. Goku is waiting for the new Star Wars game. Is, is that an MMO or not? Probably not, or I would have heard of it. And here I forgot to break. Ah, although range is still fine. Cool. I think it may have a multiplayer. Yeah, I, I mean, co-op multiplayer can be fun at times. But I'm really digging more the MMO things. With exceptions. When's the next PAX Day Alpha? Uh, soon, actually, Stinson. Although that is definitely not a space game. <laughs> Looking forward to that, though, very much. Yeah, it is very pretty, and uh, we might get some some better keys for the channel as well. Plus, I hope that dev interview is going to happen eventually. We will find out together. Yeah, Star Wars The Old Republic, I played that for a while actually back in the day. I, I would love to play Star Trek Online MMO, uh, or Star Trek Online it's actually called. But man, that thing looks like it's from 20 years ago. 
it's not the shiny Star Trek I would sort of want in my life. Um, will there be an Eve event soon? There is right now, Dodgy Bob. That rogue drone event helping to build whatever that construct is at Aubikin, at the planet there. Probably or maybe related to Vanguard or PI or both, or I don't know. We will see. Yes, yeah, as, as Star Wars The Old Republic actually has really nice story expansions all the time, Eric Slayer, right? How's my PI factory going? Actually pretty good. Uh, the next reset is in four days from now or something. Uh, I have four characters set up so far and uh, yeah, six others are in the queue. I just didn't get around to actually do it yet. Laziness, I guess. Man, I'm lazy with PI even before I, I set up all, all of it, right? Oh, reload is probably warranted. If you only have one shot left or one round uh did i no i didn't salvage it yet okay where to next that one stinson says that everything is pointing to vanguard yeah but i mean the first major EVE expansion in 2024, EVE online expansion, can cannot be Vanguard. That's just not computing for me. Vanguard is something in addition, right? Solstice coffee cup is almost empty, man. I, I would switch to panic mode, I guess, at that point. Still two months to the main expansion yet true I have an almost full bottle of coffee with a branded mug here that keeps it hot yes I'm prepared for the next few hours Uh, did I say mug? Bottle. Not mug. Sorry, English. Not my first language. Any chance I could tell the song name? Um, probably, yeah. Tazla. I can even give you a link. Uh, my cup is 0. Point, hold on. It's actually only 0. 0.3 liters, but but I'm a small person, so <laughs> it's gonna last a while. But cheers, MC. Glad you think it. Or I think like that. Small bottle for little errors. Yes, it's Monday. Just just keep dissing me. It's okay. I did that to myself. All right, we're almost done. And still have time to jump a few more systems. Good afternoon, Dalzi. Quadi hasn't read about the drone event yet. Well, there is a construction of something going on at the planet, which you can help by turning in a drone 
components and the new item you get from sentience in high sec drone sites that's pretty much the the short version of it and it in it seems to be going towards ah, I, I don't believe it's vanguard I mean why why make a, a mystery out of something that's already that we know right is gonna happen no I don't think it is PI either I secretly hope it is and we will get a mobile app so I can do PI on the toilet that's pretty much my summary, my hopes and dreams. We need Eve Toilet Edition. Are there NPC holders to delivering items somewhere? So uh, they're not NPC holders. So in regards to the events, a couple of times developers have been undocking with convoys um, that were shipping video fragments among other things and uh, they have been unsuccessfully intercepted by me twice <laughs> but others were successful so the video fragments were released uh yeah so there are some many events uh the uh the convoy was not npcs though it was deaths undocking under the banner of uh, Proper dynamics, right? You need a link to the clip? Come on, Stinson. <laughs> is there a target for components? Are we actually helping? Uh, there is no progress indicator. Um, it's just like you help by doing this. But we don't have a tracking, so I think CCP. This is more of a time-gated thing. Or maybe, I don't know, they will keep undocking convoys with different video fragments and if we shoot the right ones. It might progress, I, I'm i just guessing. No idea. Uh-oh, yeah, there. That's how you not gank things, right? Ventures, all right. Let's scan them. Oh, was it Camel Tech? Not Propel Dynamics? Camel Tech, thanks. And Retrievers, okay. Well, maybe there will be a new patch on Tuesday or Thursday. Maybe a scope video at some point giving us more information or more riddles. I I wonder if there's a lot going to happen because of the anger games. Although anger games are not really something as big as the event T, right? So maybe anger games are not gonna have an influence on the schedule with the expansion or whatnot. Or the proceedings towards the expansion. What did I get from the upwell boxes? Uh, I, I got a couple of the new tractor beams and tokens for ISK. I can turn in for ISK. Clip looks like I used the wrong character to engage, did I? No, I got, got insta blapped by the freaking guns. That's what happens. If it is the clip, I think it is. I should have just waited until they warped to the, the belts, right? No gate guns. But I'm, I'm learning. I'm new to ganking, right? You got an MTUB PC, Fufan. Congrats. Yeah, I might go back to the sentient hunt a bit later this week, but let chaos farm some more first. I 
I was abducted by rogue drones, the Kirky, yes. That is the background. Indeed. Alright, Elgoy is where we're going. Elgoy. Let's find ourselves a really nice drop before downtime. I'm a part of the Borg. I, I am the Borg. That's how it works, Olaf. You're not part of Borg. You are Borg. You didn't watch the series, did you? You're not a real Trekkie, Olaf. I just figured that out. Oh, uh, no. You've been ousted. Yeah, are, are you a Star Wars person? Really? Yeah, I'm grey. Maybe I'm part Borg. You can't be part. Although, ah, uh, Cherry is still out, I guess. Ooh, we might have a caller here. EOD is a different signature strength. They might be undocking right now. Or docking. No, they are at the belt. Wonderful. We got a hauler. Let's go get it. Okay, I'm currently in time. There we go. Shoot. Run. And it is just a mammoth. I could have actually just killed it at the belt. Oh, then again, I'll scan the ventures once we are at the safe spot. Why am I at the gate here with this guy? Not good. Oh, shit. I might, I hope I'm in Hordwin. No, I'm elsewhere. God damn it, how did that happen? Oh, wait, I'm mm, such an idiot. Three accounts, and I'm confused. Fufan got 100 mil from a Serpentis DD. Congrats, indeed. Alright, where is that mammoth? I've seen NPCs targeting from like 10,000 kilometers away. Definitely cheaters. Just making sure I don't miss any 
sweets from the ventures, but these guys don't seem to have any module. Nope. What is Star Wars Galaxies, Google? Is that an MMO? Not sure I ever played that before. It's an old MMO, alright. Okay, these guys don't have anything. Um, we got a Thucker Mix box, though. Ooh, quite some choose the armor plates as well okay fingers crossed this is my my lucky drop for today uh, it's not lucky shit just the skin the skin is a endurance well that was a bust where are we going next Orduin. That's a super cheap one, yeah. But I got a shitload of armor plates here. 160 million of salvage and another 160. Ooh, twice 160. That salvage is gonna sell. Star Wars Galaxy had the best crafting. Stargate needs an MMO though. Wasn't there something announced or talked about? Pretty sure that there was some some chatter about it. You you heard rumors of a Stargate game as well. But not an MMO. Mm. Stargate Worlds. Ah, huh? no, that's not the one. I'm talking about something that is in development, not released. Hello, Chaos. How's it going, Chaos? Uh, it was an MMO, but never happened, I see. But don't tell Chaos to go to bed. It is just 8 p.m. for him, I guess, or something. Train Chaos played. Never heard of that. Seems to have a co op. He has been playing it with a friend, indicating he has more than one. So, what is Void Train about, Chaos? While I'm just casually scanning some retrievers here, unsuccessfully. Always bullying chaos, right? <laughs> it's becoming a theme. Hello, Fuzzy. How's it going? Okay, nothing to gain here either. Let's move.
Ah, uh, there surely the ship scanners are not reliable. It even says in the description you have to scan multiple times to be sure you are not missing anything. So you're on a train in the void, and that's that's very telling. Oh wow, that's gonna be one hell of a warp here. We will have time to scan the whole. Oops, I might have to do two scans even. System too big. Am I signed up for the next testing of Project Awakening? Yes. Uh, but as far as I know, the whole thing is going to be under NDA again, so... Not much we can talk about. It is Solstice, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's go get them skiffs. Oh, no, wait. Ah, shoot. Not here. Oh, my God. You have no experience with NDAs? You sign them, and you don't break them. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Let's just get the gifts. Fuzzy, thanks a lot for 35 months. Again! Hello again. Whoa, that's uh wow. Wait, what was that? That needs some more resolution, right? That texture is straight out. Straight from 2001. <laughs> or maybe this is the next version of Eve. Gonna run on your... On Kylie's computer. <laughs> oh, I'm such an asshole. Okay. Um. Such a bully today, Stinson, right? It depends on the NDA solstice. Some NDAs uh, are even telling you not to talk about or to indicate that you are part of something that is under NDA. It depends on the NDA. So, for example, while under the NDA of the first PAX Day Alpha, we were not supposed to tell that we are in the NDA to test of that Alpha. Until it concluded, then we were able to confirm that we were part of it, for example. So it depends. Have I seen this sign on first? What, what sign? Sorry, what are you talking, Chaos? That's the last batch 
of skiffs I'm gonna kill before downtime. <laughs> Marius, what am I worried about today? I don't know, the twins interrupting, maybe? Other than that, no real worries. I learned something new uh, for work and it works. Um, I'm in a pretty good state. You sent me a screenshot in Discord, all right. Uh, yeah, I know that sign. That sign has been a thing since, I don't know, decades. It is actually a proximity trigger in some of the Nullsec drone signatures, drone combat signatures. The twins could get more viewers than I, yeah, probably, but they're a bit young for this solstice. Uh, sorry, not Solstice. Who said that? Uh, Marius. Yep. It, it, it scrolled. I, I finished the sentence and then your name scrolled into the view, so... <laughs> My brain didn't made a... Made a low effort of, of doing the right thing. Necessarily heat the guns here. Uh, am I? Am I? Yeah, I'm done. Next one. Uh, let's go to that guy. I did not have luck yet today, Chaos. I mean, I got an Alara from a skiff, but actually, I quite some intact armor plates, so that's good. Plus, I'm I'm sort of contemplating what other ships I could use instead of the Hecates to make this faster but I, I keep coming up with Marauders and I don't know I don't feel like babysitting two Marauders right now on stream that is if there is an NPC mining fleet there is a hauler dedicated to yes they show up once in a while they do. They have strong boxes you can pick up then. Boss Too Mighty Son watches a YouTube channel of two young kids who started earlier doing videos. Vlad and Nikki, okay. They are now number 10 in the world for videos. Make about 50 million a year. Wow. Yeah, well. Who knows? I guess that money goes to the parents. Get the twins ready, says Boss Too Mighty. You only got skin so far, Morak. Well, that's how it works. The big bucks only happen once in a while. Sure, you could just sell the boxes, but where's the fun in that? The whole thrill is opening a box, for me at least. I'm describing a loot box addiction, I'm fully aware of that. So what? <laughs> Cheers. I, 
the, the little ones, so... I, I do play games off-stream, obviously, and uh, sometimes they... They just, you know, they play in the living room, and then they occasionally take a look at what... What Daddy is doing, and uh, I happen to be playing... The uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor quite a lot lately. And they, they always ask... Why do you play this? And, and I'm always like, how do I explain this? I'm an adult. I, I can do whatever I want. That that's my answer. I don't have a better one. <laughs> or well, I, because I want to relax, right? But they they don't really understand that concept yet. So I'm going with the I'm an adult. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> you are not. Right there, parenting. I suck at it, I guess. Because it's fun is your answer to your daughter, right? Yeah, I go shub working. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, that was... Wait, did I? Oh, no, there we go. Next one is right here. Lost skiff. And then... A little dock somewhere, I guess. The fart fleet was pretty good, actually, the Indisco. It was slow at the beginning, but then we had a, a YOLO thing towards the end. We killed quite some stuff. Most of us didn't get away with it, though, but that was sort of the idea at some point. Joanne says, the perks of having finished all the schools and having a job. Yeah, that's actually also a good one. Although the, the school concept will only be able, or they will only be able to grasp once they go to, well, kindergarten from from August, so I'll I'll bring that up as well, yeah. I'll be like, because I finished school, because I did not piss off the teachers, uh, well, for the most part, I guess. <gasps> we got another Ilara, yay, 22 mil, good job, let's have it. You, you did piss them off a lot. Look at me. <laughs> Chaos. I'm originally Swiss, yes. I, I speak English to the children because we do speak English at home. My wife is not from Switzerland either, so that is pretty much why. They will learn the Swiss German thingy uh, at school slash... Well, they, they know some words already. Talking to granny. It was kind of funny in the beginning when they came back from from their long holidays in the in the Philippines. Uh, her grandmother, the Swiss grandmother, talked Swiss German to them, and then one of the little ones was actually asking me, "Why can't Grozzy talk properly?" <laughs> that was kind of funny. Grozzy is the uh, German Swiss Swiss German term for uh, grandmother. Yep, that happened. I had to then try to explain that they speak a different language and now we're uh, doing this game quite often where, where I hold up some item and ask them if they know the German term. The answer is always yes, but they do not <laughs> actually know it, so I pronounce it, they pronounce it, and they are actually having fun playing this game, which is kind of cool. So We are learning words already. Are they fluent in Tagalog? Uh, understanding, yes. I don't think speaking is much of a thing. They, they were quite young still. But uh, they... They understand their mother. I do not. <laughs> Learning writing yet? Um, we are doing this uh, A, B, C, D sort of stuff game quite, quite... I say quite often, once in a while. So they do not write yet, but they are learning numbers and letters. They can count as well. Somewhat to 20, but with weird jumps at times.
Okay. I guess we'll have skiffs until downtime, the way this looks. Let's scan him down. Bizaya, most probably, more than Tagalog. Yeah, my, my wife speaks Bizaya. Although some things are quite similar there. I understand Tagalog is like the uh, the German German. And Bizaya is somewhat of a Swiss German. If you want to compare the two. Hello, Gonk. Greetings. Four minutes. Can Yeah. We can do this, right? Let's kill some. Actually, I want to scan to make sure I, I kill the right ones. Maybe one of them has a tool. Greetings, Darkseid. There's a little bit of spoken Spanish in the Philippines as well. Yeah, they have Spanish and English words mixed in everywhere, really. Imagine if I find an AO here now and... Oh, fuck. Carpo. Which one has the Carpo? Shit, which one has the Carpo? Is it that one? I want the Carpo. Crap. Which one has the Carpo? I saw it. Five minutes. You gotta be kidding me. For fuck's sake, now I can't find it. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just scanning the same thing a couple of times to be sure I don't miss it again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's not that guy. Oh my god, really? Gotta be fucking kidding me. Game, I hate you. Please give it to me. Yeah, I'm not gonna wiggle now. I have a carpo to find. I think it is this one. Yeah, they, 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 that, that one, that one, that one. Tag. Number. Now, need to shoot. Shoot. Burn. Oh, we gotta be real quick now. I gotta scan them down again as well. Jesus. Fuck me. 100 mil right there. I hope they're fast. Oh no. Oh no, they're still on grid. Okay, they're warping off. Yeah, I needed to know which one it is, Quaddy. Otherwise, I, I don't know what which one to shoot. They have a shit ton of HP. Okay, now I need to find them. Oh, please. We got 2 minutes 20 seconds. This is going to be real, real tight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, they're up here. Scan, scan, scan. Come on, Earth. You can do it. You can do it. Faster. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, now I should have it, I believe. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No pressure, right? Come on. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, how about propulsion mode? All right, propulsion mode is on. Uh, and I'm going to get my probes in so I don't lose them at downtime, right? Done. Less than two minutes. Win at one minute, 30. Overheat guns. Good idea. Uh, do I have tags? I do. Yeah, I do see the tag. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> like, yeah, it had to be 40 freaking kilometers, right? Fuck me. <laughs> asshole. Game is an asshole. Oh, God. I, I need to make sure not to bump that thing. Okay, we go into shooting mode. I'm going to stop now. We're going to do this and that. And I need to make sure not to bump with this guy. Okay, stop this. Shooting mode. Hit it, web. Come on, come on, come on. Hurt it. Hurt it as hard as you can. Oh, I'm not in range. This is bad. Okay, let's give it a bit of speed here. Uh, 44 seconds. Okay, this is going to be a shit show. Please don't bump. Please don't bump. Please don't bump. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
I want that. Oh shit, let's not burn my guns. Okay, I think we can do it. We can do it. I'm going to stop the heat. I don't want to burn my guns. Oof, come on, chop chop. Let's do it. Boom. Mine. Okay, maybe we can even salvage the thing in time. Who knows? Ooh. <laughs> we got it. We got it. 15 seconds extra, right? All right, we good. We, we'll just, just stay here, I guess. That was real close. And it demonstrated you have to scan multiple times to actually get the things, right? All right. Imagine if it were an AOD and I would not have made it. <laughs> I'd be real sad right now. What did they drop? A Carpo mining upgrade for 150 mil. That's what they dropped, but we got it. All good. I actually wonder what the response fleet is going to do after downtime. W will this NPC still be there? Huh. Cheers. How about a giveaway? Um, two PLOS scopes indication skins, courtesy of CCP. Good luck. Follow Glithrin. Welcome. Service up. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Can't even have a drink here. Okay, we will draw in a moment. I'll get my clients up one by one. That was one of the quickest downtime so far, indeed. Wonder how they are doing it. Maybe it's resume from memory or something. I'm gonna close the raffle in 20 seconds. Crumpy. He's wondering what the nugget is he just used to capsuleer his raffle. D did you... did it change the ship? So the nuggets are used to change ship skin when you hit raffle. And you get nuggets by supporting the channel. Uh, if it's... if you're gifting subs or bits or doing a uh, tier 2 or tier 3 sub, you get nuggets. Accordingly. It's a premium currency for a visual change in the giveaway which doesn't give you more chances to win and here we go closing the raffle good luck two skins or two winners one skin each i'll whisper it to you on twitch it is cosmetics crumpy a cosmetics currency. Alright, and we have a Zeniko as well as Terlus winning speak up. Zeniko is here. So is your code, I whispered it to you, Zeniko. 
Terlas also spoke up. Let's send that code to Terlas as well. There you go. Your whisper is available and I just that was the last two skins actually for the month of March. Now next up will be the Stratioscope syndication skins. But yeah, let's log in our tunes first. I should probably log in the puller first, right? Just in case. Let's see. Uh, you want a Gila Scopes Indication Skin Syndico. I sent you a code. Nuggets are the old Orem from Eve. Stinson, you're right. You would rather have a Nugget than Cosmetics. I mean, you can sit on them, uh, Bernard. Totally. Just keep it. Okay, so... D-Scan, what have we? I am still... at the belt? I did... did not lose the probes, alright. I want to do a quick scan to see... what's going on. If the NPCs are still there or again or not. And then I will log in the other guys. Hello, Pable. Well, D scan tells me nothing's here in terms of NPCs right now. Yeah, they're not here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get that back. So I guess it's safe to log in the other guys. There's nothing here. The wrecks are gone. Oh man, yeah. It was a good thing I rushed this. I, I, for, for a second I was like, yeah, I'll just intercept these guys after downtime, but nope, I would have not gotten the Carpo price right there. Uh, login. Ooh, blue skin. Absolution. All right. Congrats. This is an eco. Uh, I think I gotta go fix my ships. Is there a station here? Yep, there is. Um, let's get that fleet back together. Alright, exclude from fleet, warp, or exempt. Actually, you know what, we will just go back to Chido now. Uh, set destination. 25 jumps, really? Oh well. Maybe we'll find some more... ...things. On the way, okay. We are not on grid with these guys. It was worth the blaster heat. I mean, 115 mil. Actually, I have more heart than half a bill now, right? Yeah. 440 mil in, in one vessel and 185 in the other vessel. That was a good run, I would say. Okay, I've been playing yesterday as well. Evening, that is. I'm kind of addicted to this polar hunting gig so far. will totally scan while warping. Now oh, there's only one belt. Gamba gameplay? What is Gamba gameplay? As in gambling? Absolutely. So many belts. There has to be something, right? Oh, 
Oh shoot. These guys didn't even jump yet. Where are we with the charging, by the way? Any imminent giveaways there? Chaos got a charge. Okay, yeah, we are quarter only. All right. Not yet. Singing in Earth's music. What's wrong? Yeah, Terla, something is off there. We gotta shut that down, I guess. Hello, Tech Garrick Moon. Welcome. You fly safe too, or dangerous, depending on what you prefer. My wife introduced the little ones to chewing gum yesterday. Uh, I believe she regrets it already. <laughs> that shit is everywhere now, even in their hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh well, it's a sticky situation. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Luckily, we do not have carpet, Dave, but still, it's pretty annoying. Bad idea, really bad idea. Olaf thinks he did not have any chewing gum until he was in middle school, yeah. A rookie blunder indeed, yep, that was, that was not a good move. Stock up on peanut butter, it takes the gum out of their hair. Wait, what? Are you messing with me right now, Freak Factor? H how is peanut butter gonna... What? That's sticky too. You're gonna try to make it worse for me, right? Can you do this solo? Uh, Ultima Black, you can. You just have to do some, some kiting as well. So, if you were to do this solo... What you do is, you go to whatever belt, you find the hauler, you engage, you warp off. And then you wait for them to settle at the safe spot. And then you warp at 100 to the hauler, to the safe spot, and burn away. The response fleet will also be there and start chasing you. You burn away for a couple of minutes and then you warp back on top of the hauler. And uh, you kill it before the response fleet is reaching your position again. That's how you would do it solo. Baby oil helps as well. Okay, sticky plus sticky is non-sticky. Whoa, okay. I don't think it works that way, but all right. Oh man. Morak does it in a Damus. The problem is he can't have salvage drones to get the good salvage. Oh, damn. Okay, we are entering heck. Or not a single hauler undocked. Or not hauler. Minor, in fact. How much DPS do you need to break the skiffs in a reasonable amount of time? 
I would say if you bring less than 500 DPS, you're gonna have a really shitty time. I mean, it, it even feels slow with 1200 having the uh, Hecates. That's why I brought two of them, right? Is a combat battlecruiser a good choice? I was thinking bringing the Talos for DPS, Ultima Black. The thing is, you would have to skip a high slot for the salvaging. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. If I were serious about this, I would just bring two Marauders for DPS and have a tractor beam as well as a salvager in the highs. That would work nicely. I even did that in the past when. The mining part was still a thing. I was I would run a, one or two marauders, a, a porpoise, and a puller to mine minerals, killing NPCs. Uh, I think I'm not gonna scan here, or am I? Oh, let's scan. Why not an MTU? C could work as well. Yeah, MTU would work as well, so you don't need a tractor beam. These are, yeah, trick, uh, Eden Com ships. Let's leave it at that. Hello there, Finn. My start into the week was pretty okay. Doing some new things I haven't necessarily done at work. Learning stuff. All good. It's the first time that I'm somewhat responsible as to how the new a new product looks like uh, in terms of like web access, not not like physically. Fingers crossed that is not going to be a total shit show. What is it? What is PO software? Mord Fostang. Product owner. Product owner software. Confused. So our, our products have a web access to configure and uh, operate and uh, uh, survey, uh, supervise or surveillance of the product. That one. Uh, no, I'm not the PO of the product. I'm the software architect. But uh, I, since like... Yeah, a few days. I, I have a, a buddy now who is also a software architect. So I can do other things now as well. And uh, I had a dumb idea a couple of weeks ago, or actually it's a couple, a couple of months ago, to tell the product owner and the development team, hey, you know, it's 2024. Our stuff doesn't have to look like it's from 20 years ago. <laughs> and now we're like, okay. You're in charge. <laughs> so there we go. Cheers. Sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut, right? Don't have ideas, it's dumb. <laughs> so uh, wait, Freak Factor is coming back to the peanut butter topic. It's a thick, oily substance with hydrophobic properties using peanut butter on 
gum can reduce gum's sticky nature, making it easier to remove from your hair. Because both have hydrophobic properties, it's easier for them to stick to each other than to the tribe. Whoa, okay, wow, that's uh... Okay, a peanut butter. <laughs> if you introduce your toddlers to chewing gums, get yourself some peanut butter. Check. Greetings, Charlie. How's it going? Do have ideas, but patent them first. I mean, you know, having a an up-to-snuff web UI to configure your product is, is not really a patent-worthy idea. That's probably just something you should have anyways. Uh, but yeah, it's on me now. And I even know the new the product name since Thursday, so I can work with that as well. They actually made quite an effort. I'm happy with it. I mean, that's what I did yesterday, Terlos with the chewing gum I cut off the hair that was sort of stuck with the gum Hello, das ich. How's it going? Good afternoon. And welcome. I'm just returning to Chida and then we will do some alpha content. Stay tuned. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just skip the whole scanning thing until I see something on the scan. The track down. Let's just travel a bit faster, shall we? Could probably go with travel mode as well for the Hecates to make it a bit faster shave their heads they will learn to keep the gum out of the hair actually i told them uh you know if you eat more gum you will look like your your dad so they were scared <laughs> it was actually funny yesterday evening so the, the smaller one of the twins she, she also, I shouldn't say that, but she also seems to be the, the, the clever one <laughs> of the two. Or maybe actually not so, now that I think about it. She, I, I told them yesterday already, you know, chewing gum is bad, don't, don't, don't have chewing gum. And then she, she brought me to the cabinet where the chewing gum was, and it was on a, on a tray they could access. And she told me, I'm not kidding, I'm not making this up, she told me to put it way up so they couldn't reach i was like all right all right i mean good idea thank you but probably not really in your interest but well <laughs> i'm not gonna complain about this and that, that, that's weird solstice right i'm worried now so i i, th I said she, she's the clever one <laughs> maybe maybe not so much but we'll see Maybe she did it just to piss off the other one. That that could have been it, actually. When did you discover chewing gum? I, I didn't. My wife introduced the little ones to it yesterday. Big mistake. I, I didn't, Oxide. My wife did. <laughs> Let's try to be optimistic, right? <laughs> oh, no. Wait until she she then manipulates her sister to get them back down again yeah i mean at the end of the day all they have to do is get a chair right and then they can get it again well well it was funny i mean i'm only aware of one pack bernard maybe there was another one chewing gum fart fleet when soon 
really. Yeah, the one she showed to me was just a decoy pack. Man, these guys are just... Yeah, they're gonna outsmart me soon. If it didn't already happen and I didn't notice, then they're even better at it, right? Jesus. I'm scared now. What have I done? Little monsters. Jay the vet says his youngest three. Alright. Mine are four and a half. And uh, they, they try to piss off each other more often than not. Your, your younger two are twins and they're monsters. All right, welcome to my life. Although I, I keep saying it could be worse, right? Maybe it will be. I get eight hours of sleep. So it can't be that bad. Alright, there's nothing here. Let's take that fleet warp to Sibala. Yeah, it, it could be boys, right? It would be worse, I guess. Wait, wait, girls are worse? Why? Oh, same actually, Solstice. They sleep quite well, the little ones. We haven't really had the bad dream wake up sort of thing yet. I mean, you know, when, when they're sick, obviously. One of us is not gonna sleep very well, but so far it was uh, doable. Where is there? Knock on wood, yeah, really. So Rodas says girls are much worse than boys. Shit. And I thought it it could be worse. And hello Joachim in the kitchen. On YouTube. There is zero NPCs. Nice. Good morning, Eastside. How are you doing? Uh, SPC wondering how long a cherry picked relic site stays before it despawns automatically. There's a timer that starts when you started hack or when you hacked the first can or something. I believe it's maybe 20 minutes or is it 40 even? Yeah, well, enough time actually. Uh, did I jump? I did jump. Let's go. We're almost home. And hello, Loki. Well, how's it going? Oh, sorry, Euler. So Chase says uh, they have two boys and two girls. All right, how how well the girls are older, right? How old are your girls, Jay? Uh, yes, Joachim. I well, I'm just going home to to Chida now. Turn in the loot, and then we will do an alpha content for a little bit unless I don't know something other exciting happens migraine oh Loki well oh um, wait you're trying to cure your migraine with my voice good luck on that one my wife usually tells me, you're giving me a headache. So I'm not sure that's going to work. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Uh, okay, you're not married to me. That's, that's a good point. That could be relevant. Good thing Chaos is not talking yet. Oh my god, Loki well would probably need to go to the ER after a chaos treatment right now. So Chavet's oldest daughter is nine, the twin 
is four. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, here we go. Uh, Olaf, you enjoy your lunch. Thanks for popping in. Their car key loves home office with connection issues. But even the guys in the office can't connect to their workstations right now. Ouch. Well, take a break, I guess. Rada sometimes falls asleep while watching the stream because the voice calms him down. Is what time is it during my streams, Rada? I mean, it's, if it's nighttime, I'm okay. If it's during the day, gosh, that must be a boring freaking stream. <laughs> oh man. Carson sometimes puts on a bot. Wait, before going to sleep, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh God, that's that's weird, Carson. I mean, I know we we met in in Iceland, but I didn't I didn't know it it goes that deep. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, but I'm I'm not gonna tell that my wife. There's <laughs> there's people who fall asleep. On a on an earth vod, all right. You know, one one day, my life will be over, and uh, an individual with a long beard is gonna ask me, "What have you achieved in your life?" <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, "Ah, oh, shit." <laughs> Anyways, um, how about we jump? Let's do that. Confession day, Bernard. Right? <laughs> New Twitch channel coming soon. Earth reads bedtime stories. I could read you some, I don't know, <gasps> mind drill retrievers. Let's, let's go check these out, shall we? Before we go home and dock. I should read books? Oh no. I influenced the lives of thousands of people. Uh, I am. <laughs> I am. Maybe, maybe a couple of thousand at shitty mobile reception. <laughs> In trains, yeah, that's possible, Lokival. So I'm not sure the influence was for the better. If I help people fall asleep, that's a big perk. I, I wish it would work with a little one. Although, actually, the whole going to bed thing works very well. So around 8 o'clock, I'll just be like, hey guys, it's time to brush your teeth, take a pee. They do without much like further encouragement and then it's like gather your things they they want to have you know their pets and whatnot going to sleep and we have a ritual as in they want to be carried to their bed so well i do that we make some fun moves and that's it lucky me i guess all the, then again i believe it is all about these rituals or things that just happen and they think it's like yeah is this is this gonna happen it's just the way it is that helps a lot i guess carson thinks the good thing about the streams is that uh i'm fairly leveled i'm not yelling most of the time yeah i have somewhat of a balanced audio situation right it is all about structure silly it's about, I, I believe uh, the thing about it is, well, obviously the structure is, is the cause, but the effect is, it is uh, expected. It is not unexpected. And that's what makes it easier or work. 
Alex Porter doesn't like hype beast streamers. I mean, sometimes I do get excited. Okay, these guys don't have anything good though. That is... That is not exciting. Let's go. Oh, Chida is actually next door. Let's hit it. We are home. Structure provides security for little kids, absolutely. Yeah, they don't like surprises. Well, well, unless it's like, hey, here's a gift, right? But if it's like, oh, what the hell is this on the plate? And oh, why did you mix these two together? <laughs> they, they had a phase where they would get upset when some food, you know, usually they have like four different things, a little bit of meat, a little bit of, I don't know, pasta, some veggie, something else on their plate. And oh boy, don't make these four different things touch each other. That's not good. I explained them it goes together in their stomach. They're getting a bit more chill about it, but still that was that was weird. I don't think I ever had had that issue actually personally. Um so, okay, wait, wait, we got to do insta dock here with the loot on board, right? Insta dock, insta dock. This Friday Abyssals? Oh, uh, maybe? Chaos? Uh, they're four, four and a half years right now, Rada. What did you think? How old they are? Come on, doc, 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 quick. We don't want to get shot. With all the loot. I, I brought oh, more than half a bill, so. Okay, good. We are safely uh, back home. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chaos. Rockin' son is 21. Still can't stand his food touching. Wait, what? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, w one reason why just... You know, if you're curious, one reason why my audio is actually quite leveled is, is this. Oh, wait. Where's the button? Filters. There. It's, it's because of this. So even, I mean, I can get into the red, but I will never clip. And generally my voice sort of balances around uh, minus 10, well, minus 10, minus 5. Getting into the red, by the way, here is not a problem. That is, getting above or getting to zero is, is a problem. So you don't want to get there. That's why uh, you want to have a limiter in your audio chain. At some point, uh, I also have some some gain, some gain lift, and then a compressor, plus uh, the noise and reverb thingy, which is uh, where is it? That plug in here. This one is removing the echo from from the audio signal as well as the noise. So yeah, this is helping. Plus the uh, the audio treatment of the room. Yeah, gain compressor filter, get your audio levels nice and smooth. That's the plan. That that way, I also. You know, I, I can talk a little bit softer, but it, the compressor will make it so it comes at the same volume or almost the same volume on, on your end. So I can be a bit more relaxed or even uh, a bit more excited, but it's somewhat of the same coming out. There is still some uh, dynamic in it. I didn't remove everything, obviously. I wonder if I'm at the sweet spot right now, audio-wise, for what I can do with my voice. My voice is not really good. Um, but yeah, I think I got the best out of it possible with the equipment and configuration currently. If you are an audio expert and you're like, nah, Erst is, is completely wrong, you can do so much better, please PM me in Discord, teach me. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and now that OBS can separate audio sources by application, it's even better. I'm kind of doing this with uh, separate audio devices though. Solstice uh, annoys everyone about their audio when it's not proper. I, I'm not sure if this is just me because I'm kind of aware that audio is the 
most important thing on a stream. When I go to another stream and uh, yeah, they, they just immediately clip. I'm like, okay, am I, either I'm going to stay and try to explain or help them out, which sometimes some people get wrong uh, or I just walk away. So yeah, people clipping, I'm gone most of the time. So Solstice says uh, they help people balancing their audio and they're unaware things are wrong. Most people don't seem to give a feed, uh, any feedback about it. it. Yeah. Also, I believe a lot of creators rarely check their bots, which is a mistake. You should check your bots and uh, figure out how the balance is, how much you like it. Because if you hate your own voice, that's not a good thing. If you hate your own presentation, that's not a good thing. If you're like, oh, this is awkward listening to myself. I believe this is harder for, for folks who think this. Um, so sometimes I end up actually just listening to myself. This is weird, right? Sometimes I end up listening. I just want to check the bot and then it runs for an hour and I'm good with it. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, that's probably good <laughs> or good enough, right? Let's not get... Uh, read too much into it. How do you approach someone about their horrible audio without them being offended? I don't know, Bernard. You, so what I usually do is when I speak up is I'm just like, I'm formulating a question like, are you aware you're clipping? Something like this. And then a lot of times people are like, what's clipping? <laughs> and there we go. So Solstice says there was a girl where they had to push volume and twitch in the system to 100% and she was still whispering. Wow. Check out the Melda Audio free set of plugins. Those are basically a must for music production. Okay, so maybe uh, there's something I can find for myself as well. Okay, but so far you don't have complaints on the sound. There you go. Feel free to give feedback though. And Morak is using the direct monitoring from the microphone so they can listen to uh, themselves. I have a I have a feedback in my in my earpieces as well for my voice. I couldn't couldn't do this without. So uh, AJ says he kind of won he kind of wants when you put 100% sound your ears bleed. So, okay, I don't understand the sense. Sorry. <laughs> Try again. Uh, where was I? Okay, this is the... Oh, well, actually, let's get all the goodies. So I got 441 million here. That's nice. Two Carpos, one Elara. And we got another 185 million here. Yeah, it was a pretty okay run, I would say. Or just shooting up NPC haulers and and miners. Yeah, I. Uh, that's my understanding. You you want to have your volume as 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 high as possible. Generally, in OBS, I believe the sweet spot. Oh wait, HA is actually he knows what he's talking about, right? I might still be. Nah, I think I'm good. Am I good with this one, AJ? You as the uh, professional there. A little bit more, maybe? You know nothing? Okay, sorry, AJ. I didn't want to <laughs> put you on the spot there. Louder is always better, right? Pretty much minus five is fine. Yeah, I could. I think I could go a little bit more, but then I would have to squeeze a bit more with a compressor and make sure with the limiter so I don't overshoot in, in any scenario. Uh, I guess I still like the dynamic. I want to keep a little bit. So AJ says they level at minus three. Okay, I will I will try to find an even better spot there. But yeah, I believe the main a lot of people think getting into the red with OBS is bad, but it's not. You want to be there, just not at zero. Minus three is fine. Yeah, too much compression also tires the ear, right? Can I please not change anything? It's it's okay. We'll we're not changing anything. We'll just keep the way it is. Sorry. Uh, okay, that was it. Next is we're, we'll go back to one client because it's an alpha. 
I'm Yomiya is here. No one likes change, right? Actually, I'm not sure about that. I wouldn't say that, I'm Yomiya. For Eve, I like change because that gives me opportunity to cover content. So sometimes I do like, like change. Eve players don't like it, yes. That's probably accurate. Now, I need to change stream title. Alpha wormhole diving. That's the plan. Okay, let's find out how that's going to work. Without cloak, yeah, Mort Fostang. We're going hard mode, right? Uh, where's the... There. Oh, I even have a... Wait. Am I in the right ship with the right fit already? No, probably not. Ah, uh, somewhat. Uh, probably want to bring an MTU and the data hacker. Actually, I think we will modify this a little bit. Do I have ISK on this guy? Yeah, I do have. So I'm going to remove one of the scan strength thingies and I'll just bring a data analyzer on top of it, right? Uh, obviously just a level 1-1 one, one or a tech 1-1 one, one because I don't have a better skills. What else do we have? We have a salvager. I don't really need that, but... Well, let's bring it anyways. And then we have a sub 3 second align. That's probably as good as it gets. We got... What does that one do? Efficiency of relics. Hmm. Yeah, I think I, I, I wanna wanna have a relic support there. This is align time and this is a hyperspatial. Alec is always confused on the community alpha fits with the salvager. Yeah, it's confusing, but you know, you might just end up finding a wreck and then feel like salvaging it. Hello. Oh well, how's it going? Am I doing a liminal storm since no cloak? Uh, no, this is an alpha, so I can't cloak. Uh, the invest is apparently 8.5 million, mainly because of the sister core probes, but I think we will... We'll make use of these proper, right? At least bring some drones. What kind of drones should I bring? I don't know what, what I would do with drones. I don't think you can have ECM drones as an alpha, so... Why drones? I can't really fight anything with this. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Now... Uh, let's go and find ourselves some wormholes, shall we? Hello, Quartz. We'll stay in high sec. The whole point of this is being a high sec activity, except for when I dive into the hole, right? Um, we will go, I don't know, maybe over there ish. Doesn't really matter. Have I played X4? No, I have not, Flynn. It's not really my kind of game. Because it's not an MMO. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The cl same client twice, right? Yeah, some redundancy it is, isn't the bad. Once in a while. No, redundancy is generally suck. Uh, I'm going to do a few jumps. I, I don't want to do this two jumps from Chida. That's a bit, bit of a stretch, right?
Electric metal liminal storms. Yeah, I am aware of these, uh, Alec, but the whole point of this is doing wormhole diving. So uh, we will not encounter a storm. The idea is I scan in high sec. If I find a wormhole, I take a peek and I'm gonna hopefully get some esk out of it. You want me to do the helium, boys? Why? Is, is, is that helping you fall asleep, brother? I actually haven't tested this with the new audio chain yet. Maybe it sounds really weird after the processing. I'll, I'll have to listen back to this. Sorry. It's helping you stay awake. Stop it. All right, snook me. We, we did. Fixed. Wait, so somebody was trying to get gain using an EQ? Oof. That's not the main usage for, for an EQ, as far as I understand. So for alphas, those storms in Null are pretty good, I see. But yeah, you know, getting there is kind of hard at times. Or you could just filament though. Wait, there's a laugh. Says uh, H.A. Lion. In Earth's Discord, hold on. Other channel. I, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. It's weird. <laughs> the picture shows what not to do. All right, there you go. It's sort of the other way around, right? Well, my EQ is is super... Wait, what EQ am I? I'm not using an EQ, am I? Now I'm confused. Am I using an EQ? Uh, where is it? Filters. Not really, no. Um, maybe, actually. On my uh, pot uh, roadcaster, let me check. No? Wow. Apparently with the last reconfiguration, I, I removed all EQ stuff. Because I felt it's not necessary. How much scan strength do I have? Uh, right now, 76 points. say one jump after you Dima, you Dima, I'm gonna go scan and we'll find some wormholes rather quickly. Uh, this guy here is an alpha tune with max skills though. So all the alpha skills you could have are trained and that's what I use as a reference to figure out would this content work for an alpha. Sometimes I use this guy during events as well. All right, let's start scanning. We need wormholes. That one here is probably not a wormhole. Oh my God. Scanning is so slow as an alpha. Oh, it is a wormhole, okay. Glad I got proven wrong there. How many SP to max out? An alpha, um, 20 million and 155,000 somewhat SP apparently. Oh, 
Okay, here we are. This is a C3, meaning, well, it's EOL as well, although, yeah, we'll take that. C3 can have uh, hackable sites without combat. So we'll go in. Don't tell me that nightmare is on its way here. All right. The unknown. Let's go. I think I'll just generally sit at the entrance so I can jump out right away if, you know, shit happens. I'm just going to approach the hole. Launch this. This makes it rather safe. So if I detect trouble while I'm scanning, I can just jump out back in high sec. All good. So I'll be sitting on top of that hole while we check what's here. There's not much though, so we might not be able to hack anything here. Um, this is the one I'm at. Let's ignore it. Let's go get these two. The closer the signatures are to any celestials, the more likely they are something I'm looking for. This one here is probably a wormhole. Okay, that one is a wormhole too. I don't care about wormholes. I do not want to go down a rabbit hole. I just want to uh, find things to hack. Okay, this one is rather small. Yeah, you can train 5 million with an alpha and then you have to inject with either daily injectors or uh, the way I did it was uh, I omega the account for a while to just get all the alpha skills trained to up to 20 million. That was easier. For me, it was just to get a tool like this, a character like this, so I can test things. Okay, this is a forgotten relic site, meaning there are uh, enemies. Definitely not forgotten. Sleepers will shoot your ass. So I'm not going there. Wow, that one didn't. It didn't register anymore. Let's see. Yeah, the sleepers will definitely put you to sleep. Oh, this is kind of close to Celestials. So maybe we're lucky with this one. What do you need to deal with the sleepers? Well, either some sort of Kaidi stuff, if you want to play it this way, or, well, enough tank and DPS to remove them. In a C3, they're already significant. I would say soloing C3s, battle cruiser, tech two cruiser, tech three cruiser is gonna work. As an alpha, I don't think you want to do this at all. Okay, we have an unsecured frontier receiver, meaning in this hole there is no goods for us. Let's go back out. Will a Damus be able to tank and clear sites? Yeah, I would say that works. Just... Yeah, I wonder. Would you do Blaster Damus or...? Hybrids are usually kind of annoying in wormhole space. I like lasers because you can switch uh, distance very quickly with your crystals. Baiting the wormhole please, yes. Maybe we'll see Vinny later, right? Wow, I got some gang squad here at the gate. Good thing I don't have loot yet. AJ, maybe not enough memory, I don't know. Or it's trying to update and your internet configuration doesn't allow, I don't know. Docker is magic. 100 gigabytes of memory, all right.
Uh, Elvira, right next to Chida is like two or three jumps. Idama is five or six. Fair enough. Dumb today wondering if anyone knows the NPC station in Old Vic and where to deliver the drone stuff. That's actually at a beacon. There is a beacon that's called Upwell Construction something something. The structure itself is the turn in point. I'm looking for pirate relic sites and ghost sites in wormhole space. Yes, Morak. I'm absolutely going to try to blow myself up in a ghost site. Should have brought a cargo scanner, I just realized. That scan, though. How is a ghost site dangerous? Uh, if you fail a hack, it explodes in your face, and this ship here is definitely gonna insta explode to it. Plus, after 30 seconds to whatever, two and a half minutes, some rats will join you as well. And they will definitely end this vessel really fast. You can get Caspered. What does that mean, Panoptic? Okay, we got another hole. It's a... That was quite a hard scan, actually. So Stinson says, we know where the new fragments are dropping. Rear guard faction warfare sites. Whoa. Chaos. That sounds like a job for you. Uh, and this is a C5 hole, so I'm not going to do anything with it. No sites for me in there. Let's move on. So wait, there's a Humble Bundle choice. I give you $200 worth of games. Uh, I I believe... So recently I actually checked the Callisto protocol. I, I kind of almost bought it. Thanks for pointing it out. There is also a, a really good free game in the Epic Store, I believe, right now. Which one was it? I, I saw it in the news. Uh, I already have it. That's why I wasn't... Uh, too excited about it um which one is it somebody knows i know somebody knows right i got you interested in eventually playing immortals of avium um it's actually a part of the how's it called the game pass xbox game pass now so if you have that one which we probably don't have it would be free Well, quote-unquote free, right? <laughs> Still pay for the Game Pass. Oh, and the little ones are, are intruding. Let's see what their plan is. They, they look happy, so we'll leave the mic open. What's up, guys? I'm busy. Huh? It destroyed the marble thing. Yeah, I'll fix this when I'm done here. Huh? I'll build it for you again. Yeah, but you, you go play in the living room now. I'll be with you later. And we also go to do some shopping. You want to say hi? Okay, guys. They want to say hi. Okay, okay, wait. Yeah, I know, I know. I will arrange it for you so you can see yourself. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, that's not... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't touch the microphone. Don't. Oi. They can hear that match. Okay, wait. I'm <laughs> Hello. Okay, thank you, Maddie. Oh, Where's the, the dino? Uh, the dino is not walking right now. <laughs> Where's the dino? Okay, Lola, your turn. Say hi. Hello. Okay, and now you go play in the living room, please. Go close the door. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Yes, please. Close it. Um. Thanks for the time. Don't. Don't.
Man. Don't do the dino. They will come back. They, they saw it once and were confused. Like, where's the dino? Why is it not coming in? <laughs> Don't want to explain that to them. Okay. Uh, thanks for the support, AJ. Thanks for the gift of sub to uh, <laughs> Black TV. Um, okay. That was close there. Uh, Thief is free on Epic Games. This is one of your favorite stealth game right there. So you, you might want to get it. Uh, two wormholes. Okay, so maybe... There's a purifier sitting here. That's not good, though. I hope... Oh, yeah, it just jumped, I guess. I hope the little ones didn't clip. They, they were quite close to the microphone. Sorry for disrupting the audio scape there. Oh, look at that. An Estero is sitting here and just jumped in. Okay, I guess we are not going to play in that hole. Damn. Jump into it? Yeah, sure. And then I'm going to tickle them with my probes, right? And this is a C5 again. All right, cool. We can't do anything with this one. All right. Next one. Let's go. The further away from Chida, the more likely I will hit some holes which are not, you know, busy. Actually, let's divert from the beaten path here. Uh, although, you lie is maybe not that glorious. Yeah, let's go here. And then, where does that one go? Over there. We'll try that. Hello, Arthur. You know of a C1, but it's in my house. <laughs> but there's a shitload of, uh, of wormholes, no worries. We'll find more. Uh, what is this elevator? Misery, come on, not again. It is not elevator music. Uh, this one here is probably not a, a hole, but we'll try. Maybe I'm wrong again, and then I'm going to be happy. I wasn't... Oh, a rogue drone site, though. Damn. Can't run it now, though. I'm a bad dad. I should put the dino on for the kids. I... Hmm. I mean, the show is on YouTube, right? And and Disney Plus. So I'll let them watch the dinosaur. Uh, no, dinosaurs it's called, right? They'll be confused seeing this in a show on screen, though. Alec has been collecting free Epic games for years. He did not install the client once yet, though. Some of the games are really worth it, though. And yeah, one day you will have time to play all these games, right? So Nice prep, I would say. The Thursday ritual something for free, right? <laughs> Gotta get it. Wasn't... Uh, there was on Steam, something is heavily discounted right now. I believe Frontier Games, right? Alright, yeah. So Elite Dangerous is also quite cheap right now, I believe. Sunken. 
commander the most hasn't played elite much since the release of odyssey i uh, mean neither but it's it's one of these games i i did sunk a hundred of hours in it and it felt good doing it so uh, if you if you've never played elite can recommend it's pretty cool Commander Simma's uh, nickname is actually from Elite. Okay, they opened the door and closed it very quickly. The key fell out. Maybe you heard that. What's going on? Deconstructing the flat. Uh, just, just leave it, guys. Go play. Oh, God. Go play in the living room, please. <laughs> Uh, whoever did open and close the door did drop the key. But leave it. Just leave it. Yeah, go back playing. See ya. Bye. Okay. Oof. <laughs> that was... That was easy. That was the second gank, right? If we get up to five in a stream, we have a special giveaway. I did uh, check out Star Citizen occasionally already, Astro Man. There's definitely some content there. The reason why I do not play it is my progression is not safe, as in you lose it once in a while when they wipe stuff. Yeah, lock daddy in a bedroom. That actually happened before, Zavallo, not kidding. I have never played Space Engineer so far, but I've heard of a lot of people having fun with it. Y you need friends for this though, right? Afson kickstarted Star Citizen, but he hasn't got around playing it. I mean, you definitely should try. There's a lot on offer already. If it's just... Sometimes I just drive around in the freaking metro and am in awe of the beauty. You can do Space Engineer solo. Yeah, I, I, I feel like playing... Okay, I'm saying this, playing uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Uh, playing a solo game, I feel like I'm wasting my time. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, their car key, I haven't asked, but that's actually an interesting proposal there. Uh, nothing here, okay. So far, not lucky. Do I still have drone cerebral fragments, though? I uh, used up all of them. Actually, wait. Those are the, the, the blackish ones, right? I think I still have quite... Oh, no. I think I dumped them to the market because the price was good. I, I will check in a moment. Oh, wait. That's where I am. Oh, my God. This hole was bad. All right. Try the other one. Loki likes crafting games solo, otherwise, they spend too much time farming things for other people. There, 3.8 million a piece. Wait, what? I, I guess I need to check this out. Let's scan this hole and then have a quick market tune inner mission. I cannot launch another client right now. This is an alpha here. Okay, that's going to be a quick scan. Three six. The other one is is me.
Okay, we got a wormhole I don't want. This one here is my hole. And this one is probably nothing. Uh, yeah, Roda, you can. There's obviously ways, but just because you can do things doesn't necessarily mean it's within toss. And uh, the last thing I want is get myself banned. Yeah, it is against the uh, terms of service, Rada. <gasps> ah, shit, it's level 3. It's probably just one of the combat ones. Unless I'm really lucky. Although, nah, this thing is too far away from the Celestials. It is against Toss to play multiple alphas at the same time. Concurrently, Morak. Yeah, that's the word. Thanks. So I have a shit load of alphas, but I can only log in one at a time. Okay. Uh... Yep, yeah, gonna log off quickly. I wanna check my market too and if I can cash in on some drone parts. There's my market guy. Yeah, you can't have 20 alphas farming Plex for your main account, right? <laughs> that would be not good for the game's economy. Yeah, you can't you are not allowed to log in an alpha and an omega at the same time. If there is an alpha running on your computer, that's the only thing. Eve related that should run, or Eve account wise that should run. Okay, am I lucky? Do I still have drone parts? Uh, does not look like it. Yeah, I think I dumped them to the market because the price was great. Yeah, I do not. Uh, it would be in this compartment. I sold them after I turned in the other things. Let's drop these and probably restart my... Uh, my jobs here. Boom. What are we going to produce? More black glass implants? I think I'm a bit low on black glass implants right now. I was able to drop some on the market. Let's check. Yeah, I think I'm going to produce some more. Market didn't really react too negatively to it. Um, let's buy these. 10 batches. Somehow the PI stuff I need is also cheaper than usual. Interesting. Whoops. Not what I wanted. Oh god, I'm running out of BPCs again. Shoot. Alright, so black losses are going for like 45 mil now, sell, which isn't too bad. Okay, production started, let's go back to our alpha. Oh, wait. That guy.
So wait, PI change speculation makes everybody dump their PI? Weird. Oh well, probably makes sense though. Okay, I did check both holes in here. Let's move on. Not a single site hacked yet. What a day. <laughs> Gonna get better. Uh, emotional? I don't know. What, what do you mean there? That sounds oddly out of context. Oh, drone. Okay, the, the drone part thing. Thanks, emotional. Keeping me on my toes. Oh, we haven't done the 200 million esque today yet, right? How about now? Good luck. Here comes the emotional reserve trigger. Yeah, the whole silent screaming, I'm still trying to teach that to the little ones. So far, no success. Also, they want to learn how to whistle, but uh, I suck at explaining it. Actually, that was a dumb idea with the giveaway. Now I have to <laughs> lock to another account again. Shit. All right. Well. We'll do that in a moment. You just put your lips together and blow. Yeah. The, the thing with the tongue you have to do to make it work. Aslan is the part um, I, I failed to explain. Because you can't show it, right? <laughs> You don't whistle with your mouth open to show what the tongue does, so <laughs> it's hard. The difficult thing. Uh, Nova watched the Garista's arc video today. It didn't recognize me with hair, right? I hope you weren't too shocked. The hand whistle. No, that one I don't want to teach him. That's too loud. So the little one actually thinks she can whistle, but it's she is doing it with her vocal cords. It's more like howling and uh, it's not very pleasant, let's put it that way. Teach, teach them how to blow a raspberry. That won't get annoying. What? Sticky Llama, I have no idea what to make with that. Alright, closing the raffle. 200 million isk. To the winner, good luck. Whistling and the chewing gum, oh god. Tell the girls that they shouldn't whistle, it's a boys thing. Really now? We, we don't teach stereotypes. Ah, uh, who's the winner? It is Riper Snifle. Congrats. So I hear that for the first time in my life, that whistling is a boy's thing. Who made that rule? 
Why is the air background mirrored? Is it? It's not? It shouldn't be. Alright, uh, Riper did speak up and he has an in-game name. My horny bunny. Alright, we'll sort out your prize in a second. W would I like my girls whistling like a shepherd all day? Not really. But here's the thing, I actually do whistle quite often. When, when they are singing along with whatever song, Baby Shark or whatnot, I, I would whistle uh, along, right? And that's why they, they want to learn it too. That's kind of my fault. I shouldn't have whistled. The best whistler SG Frostbite knows is a girl, all right? Thank you, AJ. <laughs> uh, your giveaway or your price is coming, uh, Johan. Uh, not Johan. Riper. Now you have a uh, baby shark in your head. I thought this is going to be way more horrible, but it seems I don't have a problem with having a song playing for hours and it's the same freaking thing. Works for me. I'm a simple mind, turns out. I do not get annoyed by that. Uh, lately, they always want to sing the... Uh, uh, what's that Disney show? A Disney show called Frozen thing. The main theme. They really dig that one. It's kind of impressive. Uh, wait. The winner is my horny bunny. Oh wait, I already did that. There we go. Now, enter the numbers first. That's it. Well, congrats. Oculi hates the phantom whistlers in the supermarket. What the hell is that? <laughs> Never heard of that problem. Uh, okay, emotional. Thank you. Ouch. All right, all right. It's on. <laughs> Sh shouldn't you be happy on Mondays because you don't have to go to work? <laughs> Good afternoon, Nick. Paul. How's it going? Oculi stating that the, these people tunelessly whistle all the way around for some reason they follow you. I'm not anno annoyed by people who whistle in the supermarket. I'm annoyed by... No, annoyed is the wrong word. I'm just completely stunned by how a lot of people are operating their phones on a free speak sort of mode. I, I don't... Yeah, let's not get into it. It, it weirds me out. It freaks me out. Everything. Ghost whistlers are the same people that have their tablet and phone at max volume in public places, probably, right? Oh, wow. That's another wormhole which doesn't have much to offer. Well, at least the scanning part is going to be quick. Emotional is happy every day. Good on you. Uh, this is where I am. Wow, okay. Scanning is hard as an alpha, especially if you pretend... Oh shit, did I just lose probes? I think I locked off with probes in space. Uh, they must still be outside of this hole, though. So I'll try to reconnect. This one is super weak. Level 3 again. Probably a combat site. Yep, we've gotten. You can't lose them anymore? They just run out? 
Now, if you log off your probes with probes in space, then your probes remain in space. That that's what I mean by losing. I just did that. Emotional loves messing with people who use speaker phones in public. It's an open invitation to their conversation, right? In a way, I should do that as well. Personally, I find it rude when when people use their phone or take phone calls while they are, you know, at the cashier and paying and whatnot. Yeah, that's rude in my book. Okay, let's reconnect to... How do you reconnect? Oh, there, that one. Yep, they're still in space. So if you log off with your probes in space, they will be in space. Here we go, we got them back. Oh, cannot do that while cloaked, right? Misery Eve hates when people don't have their payment ready at the cashiers. I, man, th this triggers me as well, right? So a lot of people would just put, you know, load their bags or their carts, right? And the, the cashier is done with their products already. They still load shit into their bag instead of walking to the cashier and pay. They, they will just finish putting everything in the bag first and like... I, I wonder if these people are just numb, like mentally somehow, or assholes, or I don't know. Selfish pricks probably is the word I'm looking for, right? Like the world has been waiting for them or something like that. Shift R, you just learned a hotkey to recover drones from space. Spooky, good stuff. Yeah, restaurant. we haven't had these in a while, right? <laughs> Oh man. Sorry, I, I'm not sure if mentally numb is, is a good thing to say. Uh you, you you get what I'm what I mean though, I guess. But you would still have to wait for them to pick pack up their shit. No, Herx, no. The 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 cash or the, the counters, the way they work in Switzerland is they have two compartments and the cashier can move the, the slider in the middle. Once one guy is done, they move the slider and then it goes basically to the second lane. So this system is there for a reason. So they can process multiple people sort of at the same time. So one is still packing their shit after they paid and they can already serve the next customer. It is specifically built that way and people still don't like work with it. So definitely, uh, yeah, <laughs> you love self-checkout. Ah, sometimes it's just, you know, I do self-checkout if I have like 10 items or something, but if I have a, a full cart of shit, I, I don't feel like going through the self-checkout. That's just, it, there's not enough space, really, to deal with too much product with these. So in Germany, you only have two chains that have those cash registers anymore, okay? Oh, I got a intruder. Okay, cool shirt, Maddie. Thanks for showing. Yep, yeah. definitely for, for children, though. Uh, okay, what are you, why do you need this? Yeah, I keep that. Yeah, what do you want to do? You put it on, all right. Okay, it's good. This hat. Huh? That one. Okay, yeah, there you go. Please play in the living room. Go, go, go. Chop, chop. Careful, careful. Close the door carefully. Bye. Oh, okay, somewhat carefully. Uh, yes, they do. I'm Dragog. We speak English at home. So everybody understands each other. That's the common language we use.
they want to see the dino no they one of them wanted to have um gloves for whatever reason yes i'm dragok that's why let yeah let that daddy play the game right i should have a car battery wire to the doorknob oh god no we, we try reasoning fonsoy i know this is a thing that okay i'm gonna this this is gonna trigger some of you but i can't resist we try reasoning. I know that's kind of an uncommon thing for uh, for the US. <laughs> I, I did it. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> but man, I'm watching your news, guys, and I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, I, I can't take you. Oh, sorry, you. I say you. I, I, it's just wow. I don't know what what's happening. <laughs> Maybe I'm watching the wrong channels, though. Okay. Reasoning is for humans. I'm dealing with children. Maybe <laughs> everyone knows they aren't human. I'm trying to get them to be that eventually, right? Fair observation. Okay. I, I, I know it's fair. I should just not bring it up all the time. It's, it's sort of a downer, isn't it? Streaming is work. It is, right? Uh, hello again. Why are you here again? You know, if... if if you come in again while I'm doing this, I'll have to give them free shit. This is the fourth time you opened that door. If you come in a fifth time, they will get a giveaway. <laughs> I gotta end the stream soon, guys, otherwise it's gonna cost me. Okay, now. Stay in the living room, please. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, she is probably really into killing my Plex wallet. That's her plan. Evil plan. Uh, so, low disk, we, we do the swearing in front of the twins. We use all kinds of words. Usually, uh, when the time allows with explanation, in what context this is, uh, this is allowed or this is okay. So one thing I'm trying to teach the little ones is what you say really depends on the audience at the time you say it. And you have to be aware. Read the room, use the appropriate language. As in, don't say fuck in front of your teacher because it's going to bite me in the ass and uh, you don't want something to bite me in the ass because I'm going to be not happy about it. <laughs> these sort of conversations we have more often than not so we we use a strong language at home but we also explain the context i don't think not exposing so you know i want my little girls to learn these words from me not some random f idiot child from a dumbass parent at school right that's what i'm trying to do here <laughs> sorry maybe this is wrong but uh, that's the idea at break right at the worst <laughs> education is key right words aren't bad or good words are tools and all of them actually really the only possible if you homeschool your skits i mean you know they will get some influence obviously from their do we call them peers <laughs> i don't know sounds way too fancy of a word for what i'm trying to convey the other children right no, people are to uh, people are tools. Yeah, it's always a nail gun, right? Roda says he can't wait to see how they react when I explain them how children are made. Oh, I don't want that conversation. <laughs> Too soon, right? So it is peers, but schoolmates works well, right? Okay, so I do not know how to parent. I'm just, I don't know, making stuff up on the go and I'm trying to at least be consider about, considerate about it. I should have read a book, but uh, I was too lazy.
give them a keyboard and a mouse to make it seem like they're playing with you. Um, so we do play together, Moff Dr. Bones. Uh, the Galactic, uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor and Pal World, we play with one keyboard shared between three people. Well, actually, no, the keyboard is theirs. I'm using the mouse. And these are definitely two mining tunes, yes. Their accounts are are active since before they were born, so they have a, quite some skill points already as well. Uh, well, welcome back, Joachim. Thanks for helping with the YouTube algorithm. Much appreciated. Okay. Can I get a wormhole, please? Jeez, this is hard today. Panoptic stating that people who write books about parenting have no clue about real life. Uh, I don't know, I haven't read one of these, so I can't tell. What I've learned, though, is not just related to children, is just because it works for one situation or one child or one person doesn't mean this is going to work for everybody, so... Yeah, got to figure it out with the ones I got. The hand I got dealt, I have to somehow know how to play, right? Yeah, don't buy your kids assets, buy them EVE accounts. So they will have max skills at the age of 9. Uh-oh. The door handle is moving, but it stopped. Okay, no give... Oh, limited sleeper cash. Can I do that as an alpha? I uh, probably can't even scan it down. Yeah, the door didn't open. The handle was moving, Sinico. Don't get too excited. Yeah, I can probably not even scan it down. Let's try. I'm being combat probed. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, what is the minimum scan strength to get a limited sleeper cache scan down? It's close to what I have, but uh, might not be enough. You think they're watching me through the keyhole right now? 102? No. Oh wait, that's a level 4 sig, right? Shit, yeah, it might actually be... Oh god, I might not be able to get it with my 76 scan strength here. Oh no. That's a superior one? No, it says limited. Oh sorry, the, the 102. Okay. Oh, so close. But I, I don't think I can actually get it. It's 75 to hit level 3 scans. Eve Uni says 86. Yeah, I have 76, so. This one is a... Uh, yeah, battle that I cannot win. It's kind of sad. Alright, also, talking about battle I cannot win, my stomach is telling me I have eaten a soup today. And it's not happy about it, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're at the door again. But they didn't open it, okay. Lucky me, still no giveaway. But I'm hung. Oh, shit. I sh okay, there we go. Now they open. They hurt me. Shit, they hurt me. <laughs> Let's do a quick giveaway and then I will send you off to uh, Die Lutte. Um, Underplex. Courtesy of the twins. Spoke too soon, right? Sometimes. That's just how it works. They're probably waiting for me to get ready for the supermarket visit. Almost done, guys. Just chill. Oh, yeah. There we go. No bubble gums, no. I'm going to deduct that 100 plex from your accounts later. And they're just looking at me. They don't know what I just said, but 
yeah it's, it's going to be deducted from their pocket money 100 percent. no bubble gum right now nope at least they seem to want to go shop they always want to go shopping i'll kill them oh guys guys wait i'll be with you shortly yeah later it's gonna come out of their college fund absolutely yes yes oh wa wife picked up on it <laughs> okay 100 plex 100 entrance that's actually good let's raffle because uh, it, things are getting out of hand here <laughs> Oh god, wife in the background now, everybody is, uh, is on the stream today. But uh, close the door please. Thank you. <sighs> Mondays. Give us a wave, Mrs. Earth. Uh, she, she was not in the room, she was just shouting from the other room. Alright, here's the winner. Good luck. Uh, it is uh, Hemlin. Speak up. The kids have total control, absolutely. Yeah, I know, dark side, right? Boom, okay. Dark side, uh, not dark side, Hemlin is here. What's your in-game name, Hemlin? Here's your Plex, 100, courtesy of the twins. Because reasoning is only working, so... Uh, to an extent. Hemlin did say... A few. And oh, there's the game name as well. Okay, Hemlin. Here's your Plex. Congrats. Well played. Everybody, thanks for hanging out today. We are going over to the Lutte. Another common nonsense. Creator stream is a bit shorter today, but uh, well, we'll catch up towards the weekend, actually. I'll be off on Friday uh, and then until Wednesday, something like this. Um, Yep, that's the plan. In the meantime, thanks again for the support, and I hope to see you as soon as uh, tomorrow. Unless work is gonna be sticky, we'll figure it out. You take care, fly, and I'll see you next time. Bye.